tonight, guys. So I'm here just off of 60th and whatever street this is by the uh, 60th. Oh, well, 60th and Sheridan, I guess. Arvada Gold Strike Station. And I have the Target and Walmart shoes in my backpack right now. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to do the couple hills that I typically do around here and do a little department store battle. So uh, let's get the shoes out. And I believe the Walmart shoes are the ones that I have the insoles in first. So we're going to skate this hill. And then I think it's another hill, no, probably just this hill. And then the one or two hills behind me that I typically do. And uh, yeah, and then do the same thing with the target wheels and then give a consensus afterwards of which one I think is better. So uh, let's get to skating and see how it goes.
uh, all black ones over the black and white ones. Um, the all black ones do feel quite a bit more snug on my foot as opposed to the black and white ones from Target. Um, no Boundaries does have, is seeming to put a lot more effort into their shoes, at least initially, than the Target ones. I did notice that both of these are double stitched in certain areas, like along like this part of the shoe. Not sure how well you can really see that, but uh, yeah, both of these are double stitched in areas um, along the heels. But uh, for the most part, I do prefer the more snug feel of the no boundaries from Walmart. So if you absolutely have to go to a department store to get shoes, um, Walmart is probably the way to go. The slip-ons were 15 bucks and you can just buy insoles already there. But uh, if you can, definitely buy from your local skate shop. Other than that, uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and see you guys next video.